Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, second part of uh, this series exploring the SQL endpoint in Microsoft Fabric. Welcome to DevScope YouTube channel. My name is Ricardo Linhares and I'm a data engineer that loves SQL Server. Okay, in this uh, video we will upload some Perky files and some Delta files, create tables, add a new uh, warehouse and explore lakehouse and warehouse in our SQL management studio. So, let's see it in action. Okay, I'm in the Fabric Demo Workspace. We can press New, Warehouse. We can put some name, Warehouse Demo, and Create. And we are creating a new uh, warehouse. This can take a few seconds. And I will start adding some uh, data to uh, this uh, warehouse. Okay, we have this window and uh, use some sample data uh, to load to this warehouse where we can explore this data. While this is loading, I will go to my uh, workspace my fabric workspace and I'm going to my lake house and uh, I will press open this explorer will open and I will upload some uh, new demo files wait a few seconds okay in files I will upload some files I'm going, for example, to these uh, uh, parquet files. I think I can press like this, open, upload, and these parquet files will be uploaded to files. And uh, while this is doing, uh, let's let's stress this and uh, upload this time a folder and we will upload our delta table upload and press upload okay this will take a few seconds so let's do some uh, youtube magic okay it's not necessary and we can go to our data and we can go and load to tables give some name confirm wait a few seconds and this parquet file will be exposed as a table in our table tables region wait a few seconds i will press refresh Voila, and we have the new uh, table exposed, our parquet pile is exposed, okay? Uh, and then we can explore and see, and if we press this uh, file, we can have a preview of our data if we want to explore, okay? We take a few seconds and we can see the content of this file. Anyway, and uh, if I want to expose uh, my uh, delta table in uh, this as a table in my lake house, how can I do that? If I go to files, uh, my folder, as you can see, this is, and in this case, we do not have uh, the possibility to create as a table. How can we do that? We can go to tables, right click and new shortcuts then choose microsoft one lake choose our lake house press next 
point to our files and select the folder that contains a delta table and press create uh, and wait a few seconds and our delta table is now being loaded and we can go and uh, open this in a new notebook for example And in the same way, we can drag and drop this and uh, press uh, start this part to, to see this uh, information. Okay, And this is how we can see this information. Okay, let's explore in our SQL Management Studio. I already have the connection. In part one, we create the connection in this uh, SQL management tool. And right now, I will expand our database. I will press refresh. Wait a few seconds. And uh, as you can see, we have the lake house. I will start by refreshing the lake house. And we can explore these new tables. Our parquet file that was exposed as a table and our delta table. Just waiting this to expand and refresh. A few seconds. Okay, very well. So we can press right click as uh, normally we do in SQL Management Studio. And uh, voila, the data is being explored. This is a delta table. This is our parquet file. Just to explore this in a new query too. And uh, the other one. And uh, as you see, we create a warehouse and uh, insert some data, some demo data. And this will be exposed in SQL Management Studio as the two different databases. And if we go to tables, we can see some tables that Microsoft Fabric created just for, for a sample. We will expand tables, wait a few seconds and see the content. Okay, some demo tables. If I right click uh, the same way, I, we can select some uh, top rows okay this is connected to our fabric sql endpoint in this case the sql endpoint for lake house and for uh, warehouse integrated in the same uh, uh, server okay it's just to finish uh, in our uh, lake house okay we have this explorer and if we want we can add a new warehouse and we can add to this explorer the two databases and confirm and we will see something very similar as we have in sql management studio and that's all guys thank you for watching see you next time